Again, thank you. Big shock for a woman in Cullen County after a bobcat runs into her home. Andrea Lucia live tonight in Plano where a lot of complaints are being filed about these massive cats. Yeah, Plano residents have captured some pretty amazing pictures of bobcats like this one that are around their homes, even on their rooftops. But the city of Plano says it can't remember ever getting a report of a bobcat inside a home, at least not until today. And my little dog came shooting through, screaming. Pat McDonald's nine-year-old miniature pincher, Precious, was under attack. But when she ran inside... And he came right in, went right there. Her predator followed. He jumped straight up. Landing on top of this six-foot-tall cabinet. It's huge. Neighbors in Plano have captured stunning images of the large cats. I don't know how you got away. But with Precious now recovering from an apparent bite, McDonald isn't a fan. I think they should be done away with. The neighboring city of Richardson a year ago spent $4,500 on 20 traps. It's since caught and relocated a dozen bobcats. A spokesperson said resident complaints are down, but that it's hard to know if that's due to trapping efforts. It is very quite expensive in, in investing a great deal of staff resources. Plano Animal Services Director Jamie Cantrell says Plano doesn't trap because the city doesn't find it all that affordable or effective. Just removing a dozen or so is not going to have any real effect. McDonald's encounter was a brief one. I ran over here and opened the door completely and got way back. And he came, he retraced his tracks and came and went outside. But it's an experience she and Precious likely won't forget. Well, the mayor of Richardson told me today that his city's program was never intended to get rid of all of the bobcats, but to target those that might be sick or particularly aggressive and attacking people's pets. The city of Plano, meanwhile, says while it doesn't offer these services, there are private businesses that do. Reporting live in Plano, Andrea Lucia.